Okay, good afternoon, gents. Just got back from a hike up the hill in the mountain in a woods. It was very nice. But incidentally, I've uh, been thinking of this this idea that, that the law the law is masculine, or maybe law is masculine. And what I mean by that, not even really so much that obviously, okay, like we know men make laws, we know, you know, I mean, it's in the sense of, like, we still use, like, the common law and so on and so forth, and we use all these, these things sort of passed down, these legal, these Western legal traditions passed down to form, like, the body of law, precedent, whatnot, and you say, oh, well, actually, there's, there's a woman judge somewhere, like, yeah, true, but w- what I'm talking about in the case of law being a masculine it's it's fundamentally meant to deal with men. It's meant to control men. Um, and I don't mean this from like, uh, you know, this could just seem like, I, I like uh, what's the term, like a MGTOW or, uh, uh, oh yeah, manosphere. That's what I'm looking for, a manosphere thing. Well, well, and there's kind of elements to that, and there's kind of elements against that. Like if you look at, um, as a kind of a quick aside, it's like the... Um, what's that one? Uh, do, uh, custody, custody. That's the word I'm looking for. In a court case around the custody of a child, often you will um, <clears throat> the idea that oh, it's like the men, it's really slated against men, or alimony payments and divorce payments are really slated against men. That's true, but it's actually been declining. Like as um, other areas of life have been sort of more socially liberalized, and that's the term. I mean. Again, I'm not talking liberalism in like the the late 1700s sense, but I think we all understand what I what, what I'm trying to get across here. The um these issues in these inequalities where it's like very slated against men having to pay a ton of money or men not getting to the kids or whatever. That is decreasing. Like shared custody is much more common. Um, lower sort of more equitable payments, and again, a lot of it's just tied to the fact that women are making more money and men are making less and. I mean, everyone's making less, but proportionally, men are also, women are, it's, the gap is shrinking. So there are these differences, but in, in a fundamental way, the law is masculine in the sense that what, what does it prohibit? It prohibits you from punching people. It prohibits you from stabbing people. It prohibits you from throwing a rock at someone's head and killing them and so on and so forth. What it really doesn't prohibit is mind games or some kind of emotional sort of, you know, blackmail or like social shaming or whatever. It's meant to deal with the ways that men will navigate the the social landscape in ways that the the collective doesn't want. They, you don't want people. And again, almost I mean, it's all women would be prohibited, but that's 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 the fact that men and women use different tactics, um, and they commit different crimes because of that. You don't want people to, like, get... You don't want a rock to hit you in the head. You don't want to get a spear in your side. You don't want to get punched in the face. But you also would not want to get um, a bunch of rumors spread about you. You also wouldn't want to get uh, everyone in town sort of, sort of, you know, through a head and a nod and, and, and getting what's being put down. Everyone becomes kind of, like, fat and ugly. And you're just kind of having to deal with that. That's 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 also that's something that is not really covered, and you know whatever this there's, there's like fraud, okay fine like fraud is a crime so on and so forth that, that it's not absolute it's not you know it's one of those days where the sun is up but you can also see the moon off in the off in the distance at, at for a while. It's it's one of those things, but it, but it doesn't mean it's not daytime. It doesn't mean the sun is the sun is up. But in this case, it's the reverse. I guess that's not a very good analogy because you never have a night where you can kind of see the sun. Night is defined by the absence of the sun, and day is defined by the presence of the sun. So the moon can kind of just swing into either one, and you've got like that lunar solar thing going on. That's how you want to the metaphor you want to use. I think it's fine, but also interesting that like it's very common like Semitic people. I mean, I don't know if if Jews have a have a particular relation. I mean, there's that thing with Saturn. I know the moon is more like a like a Muslim thing, but obviously you would look at sort of like medieval 
Arabic society is, is kind of not really doing it and it's persuasion. But it was interesting. Islam was more sort of, you know, feminist or had a, had a higher concern for women than the, the paganistic Arabic culture. Um, at least to what I know. I haven't really done a deep dive on it. But, but yeah, that's an interesting site. And I do think this is obviously something that probably should be corrected, especially considering that, again, like that those mechanisms of power, I mean, sure, maybe it, it I mean, the, the, that implementation of, of force, that's kind of what power is. When you have, you know, a society where people are working in the fields and everyone's got a, a sling and a spear to keep the wolves away from the sheep or whatever, that's, that's kind of sort of where the societal relations are. They are masculine, so on and so forth. But today, when everyone's, you know on their phones all the time and in the office or you know working from home or whatever else well obviously that's that's a society where the female sort of um the feminine social interaction is ascendant and yet it's not regulated we're still living under these older these older laws these remnants of laws from an older time or remnants from an older time and we have not become revenants, but before I plunge into too many big words, yeah, we've, uh, and before I have to result to having all my fans send my videos, spam them on TikTok in order to have any kind of reach, I will simply say good afternoon, uh, almost good evening, it's one of those, one of those days where the, where the, where it's a long afternoon, the afternoon starts early, but it gets dark quick. And I will say good night.